So we're here with a shift crypto security. Hi, so who are you? My name is Elvis. I'm uh, representing Shift Crypto Security, a producer of hardware wallets uh, for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So what are you showing here? Uh, this is Bitbox L2, which is coming into versions to the market uh, as a Bitbox L2 multi-edition, supporting Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and ERC20 tokens. And it comes also in a Bitcoin-only version, supporting, of course, only Bitcoin. So let's check uh, what, what, where do you connect that? Um, it's uh, meant to be desktop hardware wallet, but we are also preparing in, um, in the future the mobile wallet, which is uh, thanks to the mail USB-C connector. So you have a display? Yes, of course. What is the uh, size and resolution here? Is it OLED? It's OLED display. So it triggers on Type-C? Yes, that's the only USB-C mail connector hardware wallet on the market, which opens the mobile app. Oops. And and this, then you have a... This app is not available yet. The password? The prototype. Yes, the password entry is as shown on the video. Super easy. The demo password for me is A. And then I have to enter the passphrase, which for demo purposes is B for me. I need to reconfirm it. And voila. So you just unlocked your crypto wallet and we're gonna see how many Bitcoins you have? No, because um, okay. I have hidden my balance. Yeah, you put it somewhere <laughs> else for now. Uh, so uh, right here, we see the Bitcoin uh, uh, Bitbox app, so the Bitcoin wallet, which is the same as the desktop wallet in the mobile version, uh, backed by on the mobile device, and the private keys are safely stored on the hardware wallet, Bitbox L2. So, so this is one of your little uh, wallet solutions. What is? What are we looking at here? This is the. Uh, Digilabs, our partners, Hack Zero device. Maybe I want to introduce my friend Taro. Hi. Hey. Hello. So I'm, who are I'm, you? I'm Taro. Um, I'm working for other. I'm not Shift Shift Grid guy. Uh, I'm working for other uh, Digilabs. It's yeah. uh, based on in Tokyo, and we are a research and development uh, division a company called Digital Garage, and I'm. Uh, improving, deep improving to uh, Bitcoin uh, technology. And, uh, so this is, uh, what is this, uh, what is it related with the Bitcoin here? Uh, it's kind of the uh, HODO thing. A what? You don't know HODO. Uh, HODO? Uh, yeah. It's uh, kind of the, inside of this, uh, there are full node of the Bitcoin and writing node also. And we can pay uh, from here to the another uh, box by Bitcoin. So we can control it from their, uh, this kind of uh, right. point of sale stuff and uh, with a smartphone, we can pay the, by Bitcoin anywhere. Nice. So you, you have a, what's, what's the collaboration that you're doing? So uh, Shift Crypto is a hardware producer also of uh, Bitbox Base. And uh, this is the Bitbox. It's not for mining. Not no, 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 no. This is it's for, uh, Bitcoin for what? full node. Full, full, full node. node. Is it full node? Validation purposes, yes. All right. And what's running? Is it like an ARM CPU um, It's setup? a Rock Pro 46. So this is a Rock Chip 3399 Pro, maybe? Whatever. Probably. A Rock Pro 46? Yeah. This and is it's just constantly space. doing this? And this is the alternative, DigiLabs alternative of, of Bitbox Base. Right. Nice. It's our hardware and their software solution, including BTC Pay server. So what's the hardware here? It's, it's different. Uh, it's the same, similar, same, similar, same, same, same hardware. And this is what? BTC Pay server logo, which is used on DigiLabs Hack Zero. Oh, BTC this is big the, guy. Uh, hey, BTC Pay coming. guy creator. Hey. hey, so who are you? Uh, I'm Nicolas Dorlier. I'm a creator of BTC Pay server, which is an open source project. You, you were maybe explaining it before. I will repeat. 
fake? Uh, no, 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 just yeah. so, so what does that do? The open source? Yeah, what? so so the basic idea is the ethos of Bitcoin is like you should not have the need of a third party uh, payment processor to accept your uh, payment in Bitcoin. And uh, this open source project is basically giving uh, the tools for a merchant to accept Bitcoin without like having the need of any uh, any third party, basically. But how's it going so far? The, the Bitcoin systems are already doing the peer-to-peer -peer kind of authentication uh, systems, right? But yeah. how is this different? How does it improve? Or is it already part of the whole ecosystem? Yeah, so like right now, if you are a merchant and you don't use uh, you, you don't use any software, like accepting Bitcoin payments is kind of complicated because at what rate you need to choose, like how do you record your transactions, uh, these kind of problems actually. So it's not it's not that simple. So basically here, like if internet runs well, so in these boxes, like he, what he was explaining, there is a Bitcoin pool node plus BTC Pay server on top of it. And uh, the idea is that the, the merchant can just plug it to his local network and then he can very easily like set up a small point of sale uh, page like this. Uh, so if the connection works right, like, you know, like just a classical point of sale. So that means the and, authentication uh, happens faster than going through um the cloud and waiting for all this stuff or no? What, what, what does it help with? Yeah, so, so, uh, well, so uh, one of the thing, so one of the thing it helps if you're a merchant, like, setting, se setting all of that up basically, if you don't use that, it's pretty complicated, pretty complicated. Like most of the time use uh, merchant is using like BitPay or like this kind of payment processor. And actually it's very complicated because they ask lots of questions about KYC. So you have to tell them like, uh, you know, authenticate yourself, give them confidential information to set, set that up. So it's pretty complicated. Uh, the idea here is really, they plug the box to the network, then they have an address they can surf on the web and they, it connects directly. They can do it themselves. This. They can do it themselves, yes. And that's the idea. And the part of, uh, is this your logo? Yes. So this means you're doing this whole platform in a way that's open source and it runs yep. on this hardware here? Yes. So you so run in here. You, this is a, so this is, is, is a Linux? Yeah, so here it's a, uh, so it can run on multiple systems. Here it's a Rock 64, but it can run a Raspberry Pi. Uh, lots of users are also hosting it inside uh, cloud services or like a virtual private servers. Like you have really lots of choice of hosting it. And like what we are, so DigiLab is kind of uh, experimenting. And uh, so this, the combination of hardware we are using, we have been advised by uh, Shift Crypto. So we are using the same hardware that they, they are using for their own box here. So we are using the same hardware base, it's just that we put different software on it. So is this a uh, market that's exploding right now, or it's what? Is it going blowing up? Is it like growing? So yeah, it's it's go it's growing, but we are still at the beginning on uh, this kind of devices. So it has been regrowing on uh, by hosting on servers, uh, like uh, like for example on uh, Luna Node on Microsoft Azure, or like uh, yeah on virtual private server. But we don't really like virtual private server because it means that you need to one more intermediary, you know, you need to pay them like seven dollars a month uh, to keep your server, your server alive. Uh, with this, at least, uh, you know, the idea is they really they just have to plug it in the network and just work. So that's what we are trying to achieve. It exploded on server on internet, but we try to bring it closer to the to the merchant, basically.